the neighbor next door was screaming. I come out, open the door, there's smoke. And she's like, there's a fire. A fire leaves dozens of suburban residents with nowhere to go. Nate Rogers live in Cicero tonight with the story. Nate. Hey, that's right, Don and Corey. Um, residents tell us the mystery about this fire as it was going on. Many of them could not see flames. They knew that something was happening in their building, but not only could they not see flames, but they also um, could not smell a lot of the smoke until fire crews immediately came and made them leave the building. From the outside, the apartment building here along 51st Court appears pretty normal, but inside, it's a totally different picture. Everything started burning from the inside of the walls and stuff like that. The fire erupted shortly after midnight, flames moving through the walls and ceilings. At the same time, fire crews working for more than an hour, going door to door to get residents outside. And they were kicking doors down, the police and the firemen. More than 30 people are now displaced after three apartments were destroyed, along with 20 other units having significant smoke damage. The fire chief says it's a miracle there were no injuries or fatalities. Residents, however, still traumatized. It was crazy. I, I, was, I was outside in, in, in my socks, in my socks. And then, then they got so. The Red Cross is now providing resources for 23 families now temporarily housed at the Cicero Stadium along Laramie Avenue. Those displaced have access to shower facilities and three meals a day. For that, this mother is grateful. Thank God I'm alive. My son's alive. He's, he's, he ate already. He took a bath. That's the main thing. And then tomorrow at the school, they're going to do accommodation. And many families tonight still seeking shelter here at the Cicero Stadium. They're unsure how long they'll have to stay here. They're told anywhere from 24 um, to 72 hours. Authorities are still trying to figure out the cause of the fire, although it appears electrical in nature. We're live in Cicero. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.